Now we do have a witness joining us by phone, uh, LaVon Davis Sr. Tell us where you are, what you know about this situation. Are you safe? Uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing okay. Um, we, we just want to know what, what you're seeing or what you've been told so far, sir. Basically, I haven't been told anything. I just woke up to a massive shooting and saw police laying on the ground this morning. And, um, and I tried to get out to go for work because I have a business to run open the store and they were forcing me to go back into my home. You said and then all I basically saw was a lot of shooting kept going on from the uh, house across the street from me. Uh, shooting, shooting out. He's inside shooting out, basically. And then I saw the SWAT team pull up and and all I kept seeing was rounds of fire kept being shooting. Rounds of fire kept being fired outside of the door at the police. And you said you saw, let me just make sure I heard that right. You saw the officer get hit? No, I saw an officer laying in the street. Laying in the street. Yes, okay. gunshots, bleeding. Okay. And you, so you're still in your home now, haven't been able to leave? No, I actually had to jump out my window to get to work. Lamont, do you know how long the shooting seemed to last? It's been lasting around 7 o'clock this morning when I first woke up. The, the, the first volley of bullets, though, you woke up to a volley. You woke up to a volley of bullets. How long did it last? It lasted for a couple of minutes off and on, and then it kept, um, then it got signed, and it, and it started back again. And then uh, it's, been fire, it's been fire shots here and there, here and there, here and there. When's the last so I, had to, <clears throat> I have a business to run, so... I had no no other choice but to jump out my window to open open the store for my employees yeah. to be on time. When was the last time you heard some uh, some shots? How many minutes ago? How how long ago was it since you heard some shots? Uh, that was right before I left. That was around, that was around nine thirty. I assume you weren't looking out your window or or watching, but after the officers got shot, as the shots continued. Do you have any idea if the shooter was shooting at anybody or just randomly shooting out of the house? Randomly shooting inside, out of the house. Mm -hmm. And and and, so, and and just to, just to clarify, is is that an um, an apartment that that they're barricaded in? From from what you know, this is a witness account you know, here again. It's if you're just it's a private us. home, it's a. It's I'm a, living in an apartment across the street from okay. the house. And this it's is a this, this is a private is it a, is it a row house a single family home? It's a, it's a single family home. Single family home. And this, do you and do you happen to know the people who live in that home, or what goes on in that no, home? I, no, I don't. I just speak to them. At, I just speak to people as I go along because it's pretty basically a quiet street. Yes, sir. Uh, we never had we never had this type of thing going before. I really don't know anybody on the street, but when we speak, we just speak and say hello mm -hmm. and all this stuff stuff just to be known, just to be speaking. Sure, neighborly, right. understood. Right. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Davis, police say they were uh, serving some sort of an animal cruelty warrant. Have you noticed anything with animals or dogs or, or sounds from that house? Uh, yes, I do know he had a bunch of dogs. Yeah, I do. I mean, I'm aware of that. Uh, like a, 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 a strange amount? Um, can you characterize yeah. it? Yeah, it was a strange amount of dogs. Dogs kept barking all day and all night. It was a lot of them. You couldn't put an estimate on how many? No, because i never seen them. I only saw one dog with them the whole time. But there were a number of dogs that would continue barking inside the house, like they were just kept yeah. in there. Yes. But I only saw him with one dog every time he came out. He had one dog. It was a different dog every time he came out. So you're you're at work now, sir. Um, how do you plan on returning home, or do you plan on just staying there at your place no, of business? I plan on returning home, but um, I I close the store at eight thirty. Okay. So I, I'm gonna have to return home, but I have a business to run. Is your is your store in this in close by this area, or is it in a, somewhere else? It's it's close by there. It's in District Heights, uh, Super Beauty in District Heights on Silver Hill Road. What is your reaction to what happened this morning? I'm actually shocked about what's going on because this has never happened. And I had to leave my car parked there because my car is parked directly across, parked across the street to where the house is. Do you have a lot of violence on your street? Is there typically shooting on your never, street? Never. Never any violence. Mm -hmm. you, I can sit outside my porch and enjoy the evening. No violence ever happened on my street. Nothing. How long have you lived there? I've been here six years. Six years. Wow.
Well, uh, Mr. Davis, we, we are really happy that you are, uh, that you are safe um, and chose to join us. It gives us so much more insight into, into that street and just, just the neighborhood itself, um, your, your comments. So we appreciate you. All right, thank you so much.